Now, what's the initiating event that's responsible for an aneurysm? Would you say it's A, tearing of the tunica intima, B, laceration through the arterial wall, C, a weakening of the tunica media, or would you say D, rupture of the tunica adventitia? So I know a lot of medical terminology and anatomy related things here. We're talking about a blood vessel. And if you know anything about a aneurysm, you know this is a weakening of the walls and it's starting to balloon out. And in the worst case, this aneurysm can rupture and cause death. So we're saying, what's the initial event that causes this? And the first thing that I want you to know is that there are three layers of a blood vessel. The most inner layer is called the tunica intima. The tunica intima, think of, for any of you firefighters, the inside of a fire hose. It has to be very smooth and strong to withstand pressure. And the reasoning that it is so smooth on the inside is to reduce water turbulence and friction loss. So water can move smoothly through the pipes or through these blood vessels. The middle layer is called the tunica media. The tunica media, I always tell students, it's like the strength of the actual blood vessel itself. It allows the blood vessels to constrict and then relax or dilate. But there is one thing about the tunica media that you have to know, it's not responsible for withstanding like high pressure, right? Remember that tunica intima, that's its job. And then the last one, the tunica adventitia, is that outer layer that protects the blood vessel. So talking about what is the initial event, it's going to be tearing of that inner layer. So what occurs, with a aneurysm, we call it a dissection that begins to occur. That internal layer or that tunica intima starts to tear away, right? As that tunica intima starts to tear away, blood continues to flow through that blood vessel. And it starts to get in between the layer of the tunica intima and the tunica media. And like I said before, that tunica media does not do well under pressure. So once more blood flow starts to push against that tunica media, it starts to weaken that wall. And then we start to get ballooning of that blood vessel. And that, again, is called an aneurysm. With that said, best answer here, A, tearing of the tunica intima.